Hello, my name is Pablo Pacheco Jr. I am a Seventh-day Adventist Christian uh, elder of our local church in Florida, but I have not always been a Christian. God has worked a lot of miracles in my life for me to be where I am today. And so today I want to share with you a little bit about that and how I came to be where I am today. Well, I grew up in a Catholic family and we used to go to church every Sunday. Everything was pretty much orderly and my mother and father, we used to like sit down at the table and eat together and all that and it was a normal family. But then something happened when I was about 12 years old, which happens to a lot of people, a lot of young people in this world. And that is that I experienced a divorce in my family. My mother and my father, they, they, they got a divorce. And the problem with that was that my father, uh, he left and he never came back. So he uh, pretty much abandoned or divorced the whole family. And this affected everybody in the family. It affected my mother, it affected uh, all of us children. There was three of us. I have a younger brother and a younger sister. And so my mother didn't know how to take that and she became very verbally abusive. She became very angry. She started to drink alcohol. And, and so one day I was, we were, you know, she kept uh, abusing and calling me names and all these things. And when I was uh, going to school one day, I, I, I had enough of it. And so I grabbed the wheel and I told her to be quiet and not in a nice way. And uh, basically she uh, told the authorities that I tried to kill everybody in the car. And so they came and locked me up and I started going into the system as a young man. Um, even though I didn't know anything about the system, I was raised, like I said, Catholic. I was even an altar boy when I was a young kid in, in the church. So I really believed in God and, and everything was good, but uh, things changed. And so I was now in the system as a young man. Uh, I didn't know anybody there. and. In the system, uh, you know, you basically, if, if, if you are a weak individual, you get taken advantage of. So I became somebody who was not very weak. I became stronger in the sense of being angry. I was an angry young man. And I expressed that quite a bit with certain situations in life. And so this happens to many young people when they go through divorce. They, they get very angry. They, they feel like they, they don't have a life and their only life is them protecting themselves. So I went through life like that as a young man. And by the time I was 15 years old, I, I was uh, introduced to a, a, a business of selling drugs. And so I started to sell drugs when I was about 15 years old. And um, when you're in that type of business, it's also another business where you can't show any weakness. So I had a gun and I bought guns and had gun in my pocket and walked around very angry making sure everybody understood that I was not a person to try to take advantage of. So me and my partner, I had a partner in that business of selling drugs. We basically controlled an entire neighborhood of people with uh, violence. And um, so we've had shootouts, we had to shoot at people and a lot of bad things happened. So, but. At that point in my life, I didn't really care much because I didn't have any love in my life. I didn't have, my father wasn't around to show me any love. Uh, my mother didn't show me any love. The system didn't show me any love. And so, therefore, I didn't have love in my life. I didn't have Jesus Christ anymore in my life. And I was my own God in reality for a while. Anyway, I sold drugs for about 12 years of my life. And... It wasn't very good. I didn't have any peace in my life. I didn't have happiness, you know. I, I was not only a drug dealer, I also became a drug addict. I started doing drugs. And uh, so about the same time that I was selling drugs, I was doing drugs. And, um, but something happened in my life, something very extraordinary that I wish that everybody that is even watching this uh, would recognize and would one day uh, have an experience like mine in the sense that they had an encounter with God. 
I had an encounter with God uh, as I was selling drugs. Uh, eventually, after about the 11th year, all of a sudden, I started feeling like God was calling me. I heard a voice saying to me, and it wasn't audible like Moses on the mountain, but it was a voice that I was hearing in my spirit. And I heard the voice say to me, Son, I don't want you doing that anymore. I have a better life for you. I want to give you eternal life. I couldn't believe that this being or this voice was telling me that they wanted to give me eternal life and that they loved me, even though I was selling drugs and I was doing drugs and I was not living a good life. You know, usually you think about God and you think that God is going to come after you to punish you or hit you over the head with something when you're doing bad or destroy you. But here God was telling me, even though I was destroying people by selling them poison, that He still loved me. And so that kind of love was something was unbelievable to me, something that I never, ever, um, never experienced before in the sense that I was conscious of it. So at first I thought it was too good to be true and I thought that it could be uh, that I was just, maybe the drugs were affecting me. So I said, I ignored the voice for a while, for about a year, and, uh, but it kept happening, it kept happening. I could be in the middle of doing a drug deal and all of a sudden this voice would tell me, Son, I don't want you doing this anymore. I love you. I want to give you a better life. I want to give you eternal life. And so I started telling my friends about it. I said, you know, I think God is calling me. I don't know why, but I think He's calling me. I think I'm hearing this, this voice telling me that, that He doesn't want me to do this anymore. He wants to give me eternal life. And my friends also, you know, they didn't have the Spirit of God or anything like that. They were also doing drugs and they were also living bad lives. And they would tell me, oh, that's just the drugs probably speaking to you. So you know what? I wouldn't pay any attention to that. So, but one day, you know, and, and I used to be a very violent person. So whenever I would uh, get angry, I would, uh, you know, get very violent or usually I would do drugs in order to try to calm me down because I just didn't like my life at all. So, um, one day I had a thought, because God kept coming to me, I started thinking about God. I started thinking more about God. And one day I had a thought in my mind. I said, I wish I had the life of Jesus on a videotape series so that whenever I get tempted to get violent when I get angry, instead of getting angry and getting violent or doing drugs, I would t put this tape in into the VCR machine and look at the life of Jesus in order for me to gain some inspiration and to calm myself down. And it was a good thought. And I didn't tell anybody about that thought. But two days later, uh, somebody came to me with a gift behind their back. And they said they had, they had a present for me. And I said, really, what is that present you have for me? And they pulled out the life of Jesus Christ on a videotape series. God was now showing me that it wasn't voices that I was hearing. It wasn't the drugs. It was God who was actually calling me. And that now blew my mind because I said, how could it be real? How could this be true? So what happened next is that I continued to seek the Lord in, in the sense that I started to pray. And I started to read the Bible then. I said, I need to know what God is doing or why is He calling me? Because I did not understand how He could be calling a drug dealer and a drug addict like myself for just to give me eternal life. I could not understand that love. That was a love that I could never see in anybody around me. I know that if I did something wrong to my mother, she would hate me. Or if I did something bad to my brother, he would want to come against me. Or if I did something against one of my friends, they would want to kill me. But here, God, I'm doing, I was doing all these bad things and God is not trying to hurt me or kill me or hate me. He's loving me and He says He wants to reward me with eternal life. I said, I can't, I, this was unbelievable. So, I just continued to pray and I started to find, to try to seek God. And God one day showed me, He says, He showed me my life. He said, look, this is your life. This is where you're headed. And if you continue down this path, you're going to end up dead or in prison for life. And so I started to contemplate that. And you know, I was used to making deals because I was a drug dealer. So I was used to making what I thought was good deals. But here was now God and He was offering me the best deal of my entire life. He said, give me your filthy heart and I will give you eternal life. That was the best deal that I've ever been offered in my entire life. And I started contemplating that thought. 
And I said, wow, what can I give God? He wants to give me eternal life, but what can I give Him? And I said, He has everything. What else can I give Him? And God said, all I want is your filthy heart. And I said, my filthy heart? But it's nasty, it's polluted, it's dirty. But God said, that's the greatest gift that you can give me. And so, brothers and sisters, those who are watching this here, um, on December 5th, 1999, around 8 p.m., I was a drug addict, but I was a drug addict that decided to take that deal. I was a drug dealer that decided to take that deal. I was a violent man. I was a man who had a lot of hatred in my heart that decided to take that deal. And I got on my knees and I said, Lord, I know you love me. I don't know why you love me, but I know you love me. And I know that you want me for something, even though I don't understand. But I had never seen any love like this in my life. I'm doing all these wicked things and you still love me. And you know what? I'm giving myself to you now. I gave my heart to Jesus Christ that day. I gave him everything. And I surrendered all to him. And when I got up off my knees, I was no longer a drug dealer or a drug addict. Matter of fact, I, I had no desire for drugs, which was impossible. I had tried previously to stop doing drugs, but I couldn't because I was hooked. You know, I was addicted to drugs. But here, all I did was give my life to God on my knees with a sincere heart. And I never did a drug ever again. He took away from me the desire to do drugs. And he put in the desire for me to read his word and to study his will for my life. So I continued to study his word and I continued to... And everything was different. From the next day when I got up in the morning, uh, I, went, uh, I went to turn on the television. And, you know, the television disgusted me. I didn't want to watch television. I wanted to read his word. I got into the, my car to go to, to work and I used to turn on the radio and listen to this worldly music. And it was my natural, uh, my natural uh, you know, habit to just turn on the radio. And when I did that, that next morning, the radio and all the negativity of the music disgusted me. And I didn't want to hear that negative music. It was like everything God was now, I gave Him legal authority in my life. And He began to cleanse me out of everything that was bad and everything that was evil. Well, that was 20 years ago, over 20 years ago. But today, the Lord has blessed me with a, a wonderful family and uh, He has done an amazing work in my life that today I can actually minister to other people and to share the gospel of Jesus Christ so that they can come into the wonderful, wonderful experience of having a relationship with God Himself. So my words of encouragement to all of those that are watching is that it doesn't matter how far you've gone or where you are in life. You can be in the gutter. You can be on drugs, into prostitution, into killing. You can be doing all kinds of negative things and being a slave to the devil. But there's freedom in Jesus Christ. All we have to do is turn our eyes to Him and surrender all to Him. And He will give us a new life. So don't waste any more time. Give your life to Jesus today. Because if you give your life to Jesus today, you receive freedom today from all of those things that held you in bondage. My name is Pablo Pacheco Jr. And I am a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I basically, personally, I do an online ministry uh, where I just post devotional messages and I have also a Facebook page uh, with my name, Pablo Pacheco Jr. And I just post a lot of messages that I do that are recorded in our church so that the people of the world can watch those messages and be blessed by those messages. Um, I also do missionary tours around the world in places like the Philippines here where we do camp meetings so that souls can be drawn to Him. I also do Bible studies a couple of times a week with families in our local area in Miami, Florida. And so basically these are the things that I'm involved with in regards to ministry. So thank you and God bless.